Star Wars content and media is splitting into two factions, covering two separate time eras within one single Star Wars timeline. One era comprises what is now known as the Filoniverse, which is going to focus primarily on the time era between Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, and Episode 7, The Force Awakens. The other era is going to be focusing on the High Republic, which covers the few centuries before the start of the Skywalker Saga. These two different eras represent the division of storytelling within Lucasfilm and present a unique opportunity for the fandom to be satisfied across the board, and also representing what many believe to be a split in the creative decision making within Lucasfilm itself. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more Star Wars content. Now, let's get into today's video. Star Wars The Acolyte, and in fact the entire High Republic era, proves to be one of the most unique times in Star Wars because there are absolutely no legacy characters within this timeline, besides Master Yoda of course, and this brand new era can serve as sort of a blank slate for Kathleen Kennedy and her creative team to tell the stories that they want to tell and the way that they want to tell them. This era was relatively unexplored even in Legends before Lucasfilm decided to completely erase the EU, the High Republic era is completely blank and it can be filled with so many good, new, and unique characters. Now, we have already seen that the High Republic can tell good stories from their recent release of novels. Sure, they're not as successful as The Mandalorian or The Bad Batch, but, I mean, this is to be expected when it comes to, you know, books versus movies and TV shows. I mean, movies and TV shows are always going to win out. But the books do tell an interesting and compelling story. It may not be the best Star Wars that I've ever read, but it is still decent enough. And with the other projects already announced within this time era, like Star Wars The Acolyte, as well as Star Wars Eclipse, a new video game coming out, they have a chance to do something incredible with, again, a time era that has never been explored. It's a completely open book that they can tell and do whatever they want with. Star Wars The Acolyte is set to be the first ever story told from a dark side perspective. It's said to be darker and have a more mature vibe to it that will appeal to older teenagers and young adults alike instead of the traditional 12 year old audience that most Star Wars is focused to. It is also being headed up by Leslie Headland, who has expressed interest in having a more diverse cast, which I'm all for it, especially if you can make your story as unique and diverse as the cast members that you're bringing in. Again, this is going to be the very first time that we have ever seen the dark side as the main character. And I hope that it's the main character all the way throughout and that we don't have like a flipperoo where the Sith turn into a Jedi and they go to the light side. No, keep it on the dark side and make this story unique. Make it diverse, make it darker, more mature, more mysterious. Then we have Star Wars Eclipse, a game set in the High Republic era which has already garnered more buzz and attention than The Acolyte because it released an amazing cinematic trailer that kind of gave us a tease as to what this game will be like. This new video game is already looking amazing and even though we are still several years from its release, I'm excited for it. Now, with those two projects already announced, as well as the other books and novels that are going to come out and take place within the High Republic era, along with all the other future projects that the High Republic era could announce, Lucasfilm has created a safe space for Kathleen Kennedy and her team to tell the stories that they want to tell, and to tell them the way that they want to tell them, if that makes sense. They can do whatever they want. They have full creative control in this High Republic era, and I am hoping that they knock it out of the park, because at the end of the day, I'm a Star Wars fan, and I want all Star Wars to succeed. But really, if you think about it, the pressure is on here. You can't rely on Nostalgia or Luke Skywalker or any of the Skywalker saga to come in and save you at the end of the day. You have to tell good and interesting, compelling, well thought out, well planned, developed stories within the High Republic era to prove that you are a capable and competent person to be leading Star Wars. I hope she succeeds and I hope we get all the best Star Wars content that we can. So again, you have the High Republic era, 
those few couple centuries before episode one, and this could effectively be labeled as the Kennedy verse in the Star Wars universe because all the stories again are going to be labeled, they're going to be headed up, and they're going to be approved by her directly, creatively. She is in charge. So these stories better be good. Now, on the other hand, we have the Filoni-verse, which of course refers to the shows that are being headed up by Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni and others. Now, what is interesting about this Filoni-verse is that it is mainly focusing on the timeline between episodes 6 and 7 with the hopes to somehow retcon, correct, or improve the story of the sequel trilogy. We are seeing the beginnings of Luke's Jedi Order in The Mandalorian in the Book of Boba Fett. We are going to see where Ahsoka was during the sequels and what is going on in the Unknown Regions with Thrawn and Ezra. And in truth, the Filoniverse could actually give us the Star Wars story that we wanted after Episode 6. So basically, we have two creative teams at Lucasfilm. One is working within the High Republic era, or the Kennedyverse. The other one is working within the time era before the sequel trilogy, leading up to the sequel trilogy, which is going to be labeled the Filoniverse. And they are both trying to accomplish two very different things. The High Republic is telling a completely new story within an unexplored era, and they are trying to show that they can bring more diversity, different characters, different styles of storytelling within the Star Wars universe and be successful. The important thing is that they have to be successful. And then on the other side, you have the Filoniverse, which, in my opinion, has the better storytellers, and they are attempting to either repair the sequel trilogy or just kind of forget the sequel trilogy, kind of showing what led up to it. But the point is, is that the Filoniverse is going to explore that time after Episode 6 and either lead up to the sequel trilogy and hopefully make them better, make them make more sense, or it is going to ignore the sequel trilogy altogether. And instead, it will just go into the unknown regions with Ahsoka, with Ezra, with Thrawn, with the Mandalorian and Grogu, and it is going to tell a better, more complete, and more appropriate Star Wars story than what we got within the sequel trilogy. I honestly think that that is probably the more likely outcome for the Filoniverse. Either way, these two eras can serve as a way for the fandom to pick and choose what stories they want to see and who they want to support. Those who like Filoni can sit and watch the Filoniverse, while those who like Kennedy can sit and watch the Kennedyverse. And those in the middle who, just like Star Wars, can watch them both. This is how I feel Lucasfilm is going to move forward in the future, with most projects taking place somewhere within these two time eras. Of course, we're still going to have projects outside of them, like The Bad Batch and Kenobi, but for the most part, I feel like the future of Star Wars is either going to be in the High Republic or right after the original trilogy. I sincerely hope that they decide to expand out and cover things like the Old Republic and other time eras within Star Wars, but only time will tell. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that there is a Kennedyverse and that there is a Filoniverse? Do you guys think that the Filoniverse is going to erase the sequel trilogy? Do you think it's going to retcon the sequel trilogy? Do you guys think that the Kennedyverse is going to do a good job? Do you guys think that the Acolyte is going to be successful? Do you guys even like the High Republic era? There's so many questions. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember to forever be a Star Wars fan.